Hello everyone, happy Friday. It's Friday, obviously, and it's Friday night. So, the working week is done for me, and I'm happy. Um, so this weekend, Alex and I were having a chilled one. Don't know why that was so difficult to say. Um, we... I don't know, we're just yeah, we're having a chilled one. We're basically going to have a chilled one in the morning. I need to wash my hair. You can see the weather hasn't been kind to my hair. And uh, like teeth whitening, all that sort of shiz. We need to go into town to go to the bank and get some food. Um, and then tomorrow night, which is what we're doing tomorrow, and then tomorrow night we're going to watch passengers with my mum and have some chicken fajitas. I know it's fajitas, don't worry, I'm not one of those weirdos. And that's it really. So that is basically what we're going up to. Um, I've just like done some laundry, I'm going to do some more, sort of tidied up a little bit and tomorrow we'll probably like clean, you know, today tidy, tomorrow hoover, vacuum as it were. And um, that is the lay of the land. Uh... Hi, Alex. Hi. You okay? Mm. He's tired. Where's B? He's on the landing. Has she been for us, have you? No. I didn't get back much before you. We need to take Heidi for a walk. And it looks like it's gonna pee and piddle it down soon. Yeah, because we all well, the sausages will be done soon. In ten minutes. Ten minutes. What do you want with the sausages? I'm so hungry. Are you? Yeah. Interesting. Anyway, this is not interesting for you. But as you can see, we're both tired. So that's why I am like I am. I get a little bit weird when I'm tired. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I'll catch you in a bizzle. My fizzle, for shizzle. Is everyone ready to see the monster boo? The monster boo! Hello monster! Hello monster! Oh, oh! Hi! Love you. Look what I got today. The magic starts here from Disney Travel Company. Oh. It's only, I ordered this. It's holiday planning stuff. And I already know how to plan. But um, I just didn't know if there was anything new to see. So I've got it to have a look. And I'll either, also my friend that moved to Australia, I think I told you guys, she sent me a postcard and a letter which was long and very nice. It's nice to receive letters. I'm having a nutritious meal of sausages and egg mayonnaise and Philadelphia. You could, could have had those actually. I will. Oh, you will as well, okay. Sticky sausages. <laughs> Who's that boo? La 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 la. Look guys, I said it was gonna start raining. I'm the predictor. You can see it in the conservatory roof. Rainy, rainy, rainy. You didn't see Alex with a t-shirt on his head. You didn't see Alex with a t-shirt on. You weren't expecting that. You weren't expecting that. What were you doing in our bedroom? Oh. That's not playing hide and seek. That's not playing hide and seek. Give me your keys, your fuck. Bless 
see. Oh. Because we love you, we're going to take you for a walk. Do you want walkies? Walkies time. Let's go walkies time. Woo. Let's go walkies time. Come on then. Walkie, walkie, walkie time. Whee. Where are you going? Excuse my outfit, everyone. I know it's not cool. It's not cool. <laughs> okay. Let's go for a W A L K. W A L K. As you can see, I've got a lot more energy now. I've eaten. I know my mascara's smudged, but it's raining outside, so I figure people will think I've been in the rain. Anyway, we're going to take this madame for a a walk because she's prima donna and she's divering all over the place. And that's what we're doing. I don't know what time it is. Half past eight? Eight. Eight o'clock on the dot. We're just on our walk. Hello, Heidi. Heidi wants to make friends with that puppy down the canal. Heidi. Oh, do you want to be friends? Do you want to? Heidi's being very clingy to me at the moment. And I'm not sure why. I'm just trying to get dressed. And she doesn't want to leave me alone, which is fine. But I need to decide what to wear. Are you going to help me? Or are you just going to lean against the boxes? That's my bag box. That's my nice bag box. Right, morning guys. Oh, there's my little friend. Of course, follow me everywhere. I love it. Um, so yeah, morning guys. I did not sleep well last night. Had really, really bad dreams. Thunder. Had really bad dreams. I, um, and then I woke up at two and went to the loo. And then, um, no post for me. And then, and then I went back to sleep eventually and I had the same bad dream again or it was like the extended version and then I woke up again at um quarter to seven and I was like bloody hell I needed the loo again I think I was just drank too much water yesterday and so yeah basically I didn't sleep well so there we go so I just got up and washed my hair and did things and then I was looking at my I renewed my car insurance and they quoted and I thought I had paid for a certain price and then when I looked at my bank statement it was 150 pounds more than what they'd quoted me over the phone so I rang them and that would have been about 9 30 when they opened and they couldn't see anything on the system other than the new price that I'd apparently paid for without knowing. And unless I'm going cuckoo, but I redid my insurance online and it was cheaper. And I know that the number at the front that I paid for was not ever in the equation for me. So um, they said they'd listen to the conversation that I had with this guy. And when I paid for it and call me back, but it's now quarter past 12. And I don't know, do I call them back and be like, do you remember me or not? I think they've probably forgotten. Things like this just irritate me mildly because I just want to get on and do it. I don't want to spend five days arranging my car insurance, like exaggeration, it's not five days, but I don't want to be, I just want to, want you to do it and then forget about it. And I thought that's what I'd done, but apparently not. And now they're not calling me back. So I'm spending my whole Saturday so far by my mobile, which I don't usually do at the weekend because I have to be by my phone all the time during the working week. So I'd rather just be able to switch off and I can't. And that's that rant over. So it's quarter past 12. Alex and I need to go do some banking stuff. Um, and because Heidi's been a bit needy, I feel bad about leaving her. So I guess we might take her. I'm just trying to think about that. But first off, we've already had breakfast. I had a bit of yogurt and cereal and Alex had a bowl of cereal, but I'm thinking I might just make us both a piece of toast and um, just an, an egg. Because it's a bit early for, for me to have lunch, but 
if we're going to go into town and do stuff, I feel like it's probably best just to have a light lunch now and then another light lunch. Is that a thing? It's going to be a thing today. So I'm going to do that. Got some sort of hair stuck on my lip balm. Mm. Look at this little face. She knows we're going out. And she's like, no, no, not without me. Is that right? Are you coming? Hi. We decided to drive a bit closer into town because we're feeling a bit lazy. And Heidi hates this boot. She hates being in it. Heidi, are you cross? She was really angry a second ago, but she stopped for the camera. Because she's a boob. Look at all this cool stuff in Flying Tiger. Mermaidens, love them. And lots of inflatable shares. Oh no. So we just got home. Heidi. Better. I've decided to call my insurance company, so I'm on hold. And I'm sorry I had to cut you guys off there, but they answered the phone to me. How cool is this hat? Hong Kong. Heidi, are you going to kiss the fish? Kiss the fish? Kiss? Yeah! Oh! Kiss my nose. Dutch. Give me that. Give me a cuddle. Give me a cuddle. Give everyone cuddles. Come on, give fishy cuddles. Yeah. Oh, cool. You're a very nice girl. Do you like them, Alex? Yeah, they're cool. Does it fin move? Uh, anyway, my insurance company called me back because they still haven't reviewed the conversation, but they just redid the quote on the phone and they were like, oh, we can do it for 50 pounds less. And I said, like 50 pounds less than what I've, they've already charged me, but that's still more than what they said online. So. On the phone. On the phone. Because if they, offer you a price and you accept it and then you pay for it they have to do it so by offering me a price in between I'm accepting a new contract so I've told them to review the footage or whatever it is it's not footage conversation. the conversation <laughs> and call me back and they're going to do it before five so I basically feel like I've spent my whole day doing my bloody insurance and I bet when they call me back at five they still, yeah. It's very annoying things like this. I don't like it. Fishy! Anyway, Heidi loves her husky. We got her from Ikea. I don't know if you guys remember us getting that for her. Woo! Oh no, don't eat that because that's for the wedding. What every wedding needs little fish and whale. Um, so, Alex and I have just come to bed uh, so I can do a bit of work on my laptop, and Alex isn't feeling very well. Um, and I've got Judge Judy in the background, but I just thought I'd let you know my insurance company, car insurance company, if I didn't say it was my car, called back and said that um, they listened to the conversation and that I had with this other guy on Wednesday or Thursday. And um, basically it was verbally agreed at the price I thought it was, um, but he's gone and charged some weird the weird price. Um, so they're going to refund me the difference and give me more money off for the inconvenience. And I didn't ask for it. And I wouldn't have asked for it either. Um, but I think he made a mistake. So I think I've got a really good price on my car insurance that it doesn't exist. So um, that's fine with me. But um, anyway, now I'm just blabbering blabbering and just overloading of information but I can turn my phone on silent now actually because they've called me so that's good but um yeah it's good that's sorted and cheese and Heidi you want chicken tacos that's a very cute nose yeah another beautiful summer's evening full of rain oh hi Heidi there's a back fam um Right, so, even though it's only quarter past seven, I'm going to say goodbye because... But I'll see you next weekend. <clears throat> Thank you for watching. I shall see you next time. Hope you've all had a good weekend. Have a good week. Bye!
Sorry guys, I know I said bye, but just one last thing. This is my, no, no, down, down, down. Be good on camera, sit. She doesn't ever do that. <laughs> She's only done that to show me up. So I've got a biscuit, that's what she wants. And what Alex does is he hides under the table. Stay. And he, he does like Tom Cruise from Mission Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> he goes up on the chairs and then she'll try and find him after she's had the bisquay and poor good oh got that caught in my engagement ring that's fine <laughs> Alex is laughing so <laughs> he's not been very quick there you go <laughs> okay there you go Where's Alex? Go see. Where's Alex? She knows he's there, but she... <laughs> <laughs> she gets really doing? funny about it. What are you doing? <laughs> Where's Alex? Go see. Where's Alex? Go on, go see. Go see Alex. Go see. Find Alex. Alex. Oh, it's not as fun as it usually is. Dogs oh, never perform when they're supposed to. Oh, 